Okay, hello guys. We're back in the shed with the T7 that we all love so much. Uh, but if we haven't greased up those rear suspension bolts, that's a one-sided love. She's not loving you back. So, but fortunately that's something that you can do on your own and I'm going to show you how. That's not part of the normal service that gets done on this bike. So you have to either have someone do it for you or as I'm going to do now, uh, do it myself. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and it's quite easy. Okay, so let's dive down. And under the bike, we see the suspension linkage coming in here. So what we have is the actual suspension coming down fastened here. There's a 14 millimeter socket there and a 17 on the other side. So, and you have the same up a bit where is the top part and it's behind this cover. So if you want to remove the rear spring, you take away this plate, unscrew that bolt, this one, and you can take the suspension out. But what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to skip the one in the top because you know what to do with that one and I'm not going to remove everything. Uh, so I'm going to concentrate on how to do it in the lower part here and also these uh, link arms See it's fastened up here and here So what we're going to do is actually just Unscrew everything here remove the bolts Grease them up and put them back in So to do this the easiest way we need to get that swing arm up freely in the air by either having a central stand, which I don't at the moment, um, or I could use a lift, which is what I'm going to do. But let's take the wheel off and get it up in the air. This is actually a topic if you should use a lift on the Tenere or not, because this, uh, it looks like frame, but it's only uh, quite loose, uh, loosely fastened steel tubes that doesn't really support the bike well. So I'm taking a chance with the lift. And for this procedure, we have to go in through uh, the exhaust. Nah, just kidding. Yeah. For this operation, we need a wrench with a 14 and 17 millimeter Sockets, a torque wrench. I learned now not to loosen bolts with the torque wrench, so thanks for that. An extender is nice to have, and just a normal wrench to uh, help out with the opposite bolts when you're tightening stuff if that's needed. And what we want to put on the actual bolts is some, some grease, and I have some lithium grease here. So uh, cheap brand, so perhaps there are better things, but that'll do the job. Let's get the rear wheel off. Nut and a washer. Then just push, push this through, pull it out on the other side. Yeah. Take the brake off. Like so. Chain off, wheel off, just put it away for a little while. Okay, so let's start with the one in the, the in, on the actual suspension there. Just a bolt and nut there. That's all, there's no washer on that one. And then we can just push it out. So here we have that one. So you see with that bolt away, 
that now the, the suspension part is completely free. So what's keeping this swing arm uh, in the air right now is you can see the swing arm here and it goes in to this part here where the arms are um, sort of keeping it in the air. So when we remove this bolt, we need to at the same time lift the swing a bit so this bolt can move freely. So first loosen the bolt. They are not super tight. Um, it's only 48 newton meters on this one. Well, only it's, but yeah, it's not that tough. Let's loosen the other arm. Not there also. Okay, two nuts, two washers. This one, the one closest to the engine, comes off quite easily. You just pull it out. And here is the first uh, arm that came off. So keep that. <laughs> yeah, definitely keep that. Lift the swing arm a little bit and pull out from the other end. So what we have now, as you can see, the, the arms, the two bolts, a nut and a washer on each side, and the bottom of the suspension bolt there. Yeah, so we want to grease up all these things, but there are still things left on the bike that we want. You can see here is where the suspension came. This is the arm. And as you can see, there's a tube in here that I can just pull out like this. Can you see how nice they look, these things? The, these, they actually go inside here. So the bolts go in these. So I take where are you? I have to find it with the camera also. In here also, there. Take that out. Like that. And now we have that one. So these are the only things that we take out. So we want to put grease in here and get it on the needle bearings, grease on these parts and just put it back. You can do the same with the top bolt behind that one. I'm not going there today. Like so, let's get that rag there and just wipe that dirt off. Okay, let's get some grease, put it, just get in there with your fingers and feel the bearings same thing here use your pinky if it's too tight i use brake cleaner a lot also to, to to get them clean to begin with i already did that once now so they look quite nice uh, but make sure you get these clean and then you grease them like they never been greased before because they haven't been greased before then it's time to put them back in okay so take these tubes that we took out long, last time and just press them back in there like so and this one Like that. The link arm is gets pushed in from the other side. Like so. And then I have to lift the swing arm again to to push to get this bolt in. Get this link arm on.
that. Washer, not. Washer, nuts. Because mine, I rode, <laughs> I dare not say it, but I rode about 20,000 kilometers without greasing these guys. So perhaps you don't have to wear on your bike the same way I did. So, and this guy on there. Now all we have to do is tighten them, there, but there we have it, and the last one, get the tie back on. Chain distance. Like that, push, always push the wheel all the way up against the chain distance thingies. So, hope this helped. It was a video by request and um, yeah, ride safe out there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.